ask him to go in there with all they've got and win just one for the Kipper. Movies usually were double headers, two at a, at a time, with uh, oftentimes some vaudeville acts in, in between. And they had giveaways, they had nights when you went uh, 20 weeks in a row and got a different dish each time. That was where we really spent uh, our Saturday afternoons. It probably cost a nickel or a dime to get in. When we were kids, we would go to the Bowdoin for 10 cents. Stay there all day because they had cereal pictures and you wanted to know what happened to Pearl White on the railroad track when the train was coming. See, and then it would end. So you waited to see whether or not. So you'd sit there. Your mothers gave you lunch because it was a good way to get rid of you. And you'd sit there all day waiting to see what the, whether the train was going to run her over. cost a nickel. But I loved the cereals on Saturday. But where my mother had five children, that was five nickels. So what she did was go to the movie this Saturday. You didn't go next Saturday, but you could probably go the following Saturday. Oh, sure. The change, movies change every, every, uh, no, every three days or something like that, I guess. Cowboys and Indians were the very important. They, they, they were the important movies in those days. Oh yes, they were the big things. Cowboys and the United States cows were always on time. It gets came in the nick of time to save the people from all the Indians. The poor old Indians, though, when I look back, took an awful looking. <laughs> the Bowdoin Square, the other Bowdoin Square. We sat on wooden benches in the gallery. We used to call it the gallery. Why would you call it? Because we didn't know the word gallery. We said the gallery. Even when we heard the word ga gallery, by that time we were so used to call it the gallery that we still call it the gallery. And used to get it for a quarter, a dime. We dressed to go to the movies, didn't we always dress? Oh, yes. We dressed from We dressed to go to, to church toe. in those days, and we dressed to go to the movies. And Sunday night, my family was the lowest state on uh, Mass Avenue in town. We went there all the time because they were very, it was like a fashion show. Oh, yeah. Well, the cute part was trying to get out of school or not go to school and get into the theater and see a show without the truant officer showing up and running you out of there. <laughs> One fellow would buy a ticket, go in, open the door, and 15, 20 kids would come in the door. <laughs> I remember the manager, Mac, he used to be caught us sneaking into the movie, you know, we'd, we'd get real mad try to get mad at this, you know. And, oh, I'd line up, I'm gonna take a picture, and it'd go like that, you know, like I'm doing, like, okay, you got uh, the scares. Don't come back, we'll get your pictures. Don't try to sneak in here again, you know. Escapism was the order of the day. If it hadn't been for the movies, the 30s and 40s would have been a sorrier time in America. For a dime or a quarter, a trip to the local movie house bought a double feature, a cartoon, even an hour-long stage show at some theaters. To start things off was a newsreel. In the days before television, this was how people got their information. Ferris, August 22nd, 1944. The only way you got in touch with the radio, you listened to the radio, they had news, and then when you went to the movies, they had the Pathé newsreel, you know, and you'd watch what happened like three days ago. Today, the, they'd be laughed at because they were done uh, days or sometimes weeks before, so they weren't news. If a, a battle was being shown a week later, it wouldn't make any difference. It was still... Uh, still the same. It is barely dawn. The troops have not yet landed on the beaches. In Boston, the centerpiece of the movie houses was the Metropolitan. Today, it is known as the Wang Center. But when it opened back in 1925, the Met was the showplace, called the Cathedral for Motion Pictures. 
On opening night, 20,000 Bostonians stood in line to get a peek at the theater that was modeled after the Paris Opera Comique. People craned their necks to look at the elaborate ceiling murals, marble columns hand-painted with gold leaf, and chandeliers dripping with crystal. Theaters were grand during those years, you know. Um, I don't really think they were built honestly to look at them to be movie theaters. To be honest with you, but they were so nicely done, you know. You'd walk in and, and you know, and right away your eyes would go upward, you know, because you're amazed at the fixture and the texture of the building. At the Metropolitan, the architecture was part of the show. If the Grand Lobby looks palatial, well, it should. It was patterned after the Palace of Versailles. In an era of opulence, the Met quickly became the piece de resistance. The Boston Herald exclaimed that the theater was gaiety with gold, comfort with crimson. An air-conditioned comfort at that. Wafting out from under the 4,200 seats was cool air. All of this extravagance cost $8 million to build. But the Met wasn't just for movies. A full-fledged stage show came first. An orchestra ascended from the pit, a hundred-voice chorus, and an immense Wurlitzer rose into view. All of this before name entertainers like George Burns and Gracie Allen would come on. Crosby is the one they want to hear. Oh, Pooter Crosby, you're twice the singer he is. I know, but he's the one they want to hear. Well, I can't. <laughs> I can't understand why. All he ever sings is White Christmas. They ever changed the color of Christmas he threw. <laughs> then there was the visit from the hot throb of the day, Rudy Valley. Just as he was beginning his solo sax rendition of Give Me Something to Remember You By. They hit him with a grapefruit. Some kids from Harvard didn't like him. They hit him with a grapefruit. My time was is your time. Yeah, yeah, that was your it. time is never my time. Song. We just seem to synchronize and sympathize. We're harmonizing one step. They won't be able to throw grapefruit at me with this machine, will they? No, they certainly won't. The movie houses, the clubs, the grove, the old neighborhood, the Boston Garden. Some of these places are just faded memories. Others are still with us, bringing the past into the present. But remembering what they meant to us, and how they enriched our lives teaches us other things about a time and a place and the people who live there, about Boston, the way it was. We've been here all our lives. We've been here all our lives. I lived in this building next door 52 years. We've been on this corner all our lives. I've been here, I was born, I was actually born on Salem Street, nobody knows, next to the fire station. And I swear I can remember the horses pulling the, the wagon. Do you remember? Oh. You're too young. You horses, were born here. No, we, no, no. They didn't have horses You're and too wagons. Young. No, they did in, in that fire station. That fire station didn't have horses and wagons. That, that ain't too long ago. 73 years ago, that ain't that long ago. Soon will come a day when youth will pass away. Then what will they say about me? These are just, oh, shucks, I forgot the end of it. Yeah, yeah. Just a gigolo, and life goes on without me. It's true. Time is like a story that
that you've not read before New beginnings fresh on every page Now is the time to take a chance Give it your all once more Go for a bullseye double top Hit, hit center stage Time is like a change in seasons Long awaited for Like a sunny day the first in spring No rain, no clouds, no feeling great Everything's fine, we're on our way So be smart, be wise, be straight, be right, be hip Changes are here to stay Look sharp, look bright, look out, look cool, look out It's gonna go our way No rain, no clouds, no feeling great Everything's fine, we're on our way So be smart, be wise, be straight, be right, be hip Changes are here to stay Look sharp, look bright, look out, look cool, look out It's gonna go our way MFS, providing stock, bond, tax-free, and money market mutual funds through financial advisors.